A question I get asked a lot is about savory feeds for swimming. Now, you might have been wondering what are some options or you might be looking for something regular to break up the sweet things or just every now and then, maybe if you crave something else. So in this video, I'm going to go through some different options that might work from, for you. But it's important to remember that like all feeds, you need to be practicing this in training regularly so you can adapt and get used to it and find what works for you. Still considering the carbohydrate amount and the salt or sodium. So the tricky thing with savory feeds are they can be a lot higher in sodium than you need. And remembering we're not sweating a lot typically for our, all our cold swimmers. Um, so you don't need as much sodium and we want to reduce the risk of side. And sometimes they aren't carbohydrate dense. So they're not going to give you enough like a double concentrated sports drink would. But there are some ways that we can work around it. So I'm going to share my screen now um, with hopefully works. Here we go. So you can see uh, multidextrin. This is a product that I recommend to some of you. Um, this is an Australian site, but you can get um, some other ones on bulk nutrients, um, true protein, do some as well. So you just want something that has um, pure multidextrin. Now, this is readily absorbed, so it's in a lot of your gels and sports drinks, and it has no flavor. So this is going to be your carbohydrate um, main thing in your feed, and then you can flavor it with either just a dash of cordial to give it some flavor, so it will be a really weak feed, or you could mix it with some chicken stock or veggie stock or beef stock, but try and get one that is low sodium so you're not overloading on that and we can work on concentrations together. But that's an option. Or some people who want to use some low sodium tin soups or make their own, um, again, thinking about on your swim day, where are you? What are you going to be doing the days leading up? Can you make your own soups? Um, so that's an option if it's going to work for you. But I've had swimmers before that it's not going to give you enough. It might only have 10 grams of carbohydrates in the soup. So we can mix some multidextrin through um, to make it meet your needs. Another option is doing some instant mashed potato. Um, you can buy it from the supermarket. There's some from Sainsbury's for our UK swimmers as well. Um, or you can boil real potatoes or sweet potato, mash them up, put them in a baby food pouch or a Ziploc bag or a freezer bag, and then you can just rip it open and suck it out when you need it. Another option is some of your baby food pouches, which I've talked about before for other solid feeds, but you can get some savory options. So these are good to either add to a feed and finish off with some savoriness, um, or you need to be thinking about having this and something else because most of them will only be between 10 and 16 grams of carbohydrates. And for most of you, you'd need double that or even more. So I hope that gives you um, some ideas of some simple savory feeds so you can start trialing and see what works for you.